ask unanimous consent to address the House for one minute and to revise and extend my remarks. Without objection, the gentlewoman is recognized for one minute. Mr. Speaker, over 13,000 people in the United States have died from gun violence this year alone. Let me repeat that. Over 13,000 people in the United States have died from gun violence this year alone, and it's only April. This means that over 100 people are dying by gunshot every single day. We have to take action to stop this epidemic. We have to address the scourge of gun violence and the multiple, multiple, multiple reasons that we find ourselves here almost every single day having the same conversation. Every single day. People should be able to ring the wrong doorbell accidentally or drive into the wrong driveway without the fear of being shot. We cannot continue the gl to glorify guns while vilifying and frightening our fellow Americans. More guns are not the answer. Improving public safety and supporting our law enforcement will make us safer and can help change public sentiment so that people will stop seeing guns as, as solutions and our neighbors and each other as threats. I urge my colleagues to please work together on finding our common ground with actual solutions to gun violence. The American people are asking us to do this. We must work together. We must move forward rather than pushing each other apart. I thank you and I yield back, Mr. Speaker. For what purpose does the gentleman